Hey guys, Luke here, and I'm just here to do a preview of the NRL Round 1, and in this video, we're going to be going over Friday Night Football, which just happens to be uh, one game, which is Parramatta taking on the Manly Seagulls. So, well, let's get into the Parramatta lineup. We've got Hoppawadi at the back, oh, sorry, at fullback, and we've got Rad Radra, Champion, Takarangi, Robinson, Norman, Sandow, Lussig, Pete, Mena, Mao, Moaroa, and Botmo, and the bench is the Goys, Joseph Polo, Junior Polo, Gower, Wicks, and Paulo to be admitted. Moving on to the Manly lineup, we've got Brett Stewart, Blair, Lyon, Gutherson, Hiku, Foran, Cherry Evans, Mason, and Ballon, Lawrence, Mateo, Simons, Louis, and the bench of Santa Lafeo, Leary, Hassan, Luke Burgess, and Justin Horro want to be admitted. Now, looking at these two sides, like beforehand, before I had seen these sides, I probably would have said Manly would shit it in, to be honest with you. No hay, no nothing. But looking at these sides, I'm really liking the Parramatta side at this stage. I think. Manly, they have a habit. Sorry, they have a habit of um, winning games when their size not really the flashiest or the best, or whatever. But uh, man, this is the one of the worst sides I've seen Manly in a long, long time. This is, like, I'm just gonna say it. This is one of the worst. Yeah, this is a terrible side. Um, I do have to. However, I do think Peter Hick will end up in the centres with Gutherson on the wing. But man, no mad eye. Um, just all the players they lost last year. It's just. It's looking very shit. They already had a pretty average four pack beforehand. Um, now losing Watmo, who's obviously now in the Parramatta Eels. Glenn Stewart. It's just, it's just looking very, very, very average. And if you take out Cherry Evans, Foran, and place them with I don't know a Norman and Sando and Stewart, like that side looks like wooden spoon contenders, to be honest with you. But um, well, I'm, I'm, that's just probably a little bit too harsh. But um, at the same time, I just think Parramatta look like a better side. I think Manly had the better. But Haas, I think fullback, I mean, I'm. you'd say Brett Stewart's the best, better fullback, but we haven't seen Hoppawati play fullback, except for maybe like one game for Manly or something. So, rain to be seen, he might come out and, you know, be an old fullback. Um, I'd say, I'm not sure who's a better hooker out of Ballon and Pete. I'd say Ballon just because he plays plays the full lady and all that. Um, but Edgoy's and Pete's combo could be quite effective. Pete was great last year until he uh, got injured. Um... With all the disruptions that Manly's had between Foran and Evans and Sherry Evans and that, I'm just I'm just not sure how they're going to go this season. And I think this first game, if I had to pick one, I'd go with Parramatta. And I'm going to say 1-12 to because I think Manly always seem to put up a bit of a fight. But at the same time, I just think Parramatta are going to be too strong in the forwards. And also in the back line, Manly don't really... They're not that far ahead of him in there either, if they are ahead of him at all. I mean, Red Rajo and Hoppawati, pretty good players. Champions, adequate. Attackerang, you know, they're, they're okay players. They're not outstanding, but, you know, they're okay. Uh, and we've got young lads like Gutherson, Chase Blair, Hiku. Uh, although they had they played a fair few. They played a few games, but they're not the most experienced or anything. Um, but, yeah, a home game for Parramatta. First game of the season. They usually come out firing, uh, especially if Watmo's got something to prove here. Uh, yeah, I'm going to go with a 1-12 Parramatta victory. Uh, if you want to follow me on Twitter, make sure um, you go and follow me on that. It's Mr. Luke on YT. Uh, I've got a Facebook page in the description below. And make sure you leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. And don't get too upset if I say like, if I go against your side or anything. It's nothing personal or anything. It's just, um, just a prediction. Uh, everybody does a bit of tipping in that. Um, so yeah, once again, don't get too upset. But thank you for watching, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I'll see you for my next video, guys. Bye.